Hello everybody, welcome to IT Skills channel. My name is Aiden. In today's video, we're gonna deploy Ubuntu Desktop. Ubuntu Desktop is a Linux, one of the Linux distributions, and it's supposed to be one of the most user-friendly distributions out there, in my opinion. And so we're gonna go ahead and deploy that in our new Linux environment and see how much fun we can have with it. I like using Windows clients, Windows 10, 11, servers, etc., or even Mac OS. As you can see behind me, there's a Mac OS but I haven't been utilizing Linux lately, so I wanna get into it. So because of that, we're gonna go ahead and make a video about it, why not, right? So without further ado, let's get started. Download the Ubuntu, so you can see here, to get to the Ubuntu, you just go to Google Ubuntu desktop and you're gonna to get to this nice homepage and you can hit download Ubuntu. And once you hit download, you can actually download the Ubuntu 22.04 LS, LSTR, LS, LTS, a long term service release. So that's the one we can download. You can even do other things, but let's go ahead and download it. Actually, we already have it downloaded and imported, so we're not gonna do this. We're gonna save some steps. So once you download it, I basically put it in my one of my Nutanix. Uh, let me go to settings. I actually uploaded the ISO under here. I called it Ubuntu desktop. So I put it up here, so that's what I'm gonna need to do is just pretty much try to, inst you know, make a ISO of it. Like actually make a VM now. So click on VMs. I'm using Prism Element for this. So it doesn't matter which we use, what hypervisor you use, as long as you can get to the same result. So I'm gonna click Create VM. I'm gonna name this one. So that's it, and then I'm gonna give it one CPU. I'm gonna give it one core. I'm just gonna give it four gig of memory. And then as far as the UV, I'm not gonna do anything here. I'm just gonna ch check here. And I'm gonna go ahead, do clone from image and services. I'm gonna select the SATA. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually select my virtual IO. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add our clone from disk imaging server and then we're going to choose our ubuntu desktop and then i'm going to add the disk storage size i want to give this to i'm just going to give it 40 gigs for this one add and then network the default is fine uh, and then uh, i missed something else here yeah so i give a four gig of memory everything else is good so yeah we are good now we're gonna hit save so the command is received is working on creating right now this part can take anywhere from five to you know 10 minutes depending on your you know your environment so we're gonna pause the video and come back to it So in here it says here it's created a VM. We're gonna refresh it. I don't see it right here. I may have to search for it. Ubuntu. There you go. There's a Ubuntu. I got a couple of them. The one I'm looking for is this one. This is the one I created. We're gonna power on. Once it powers on, we're gonna connect to the VM, just like any typical VM. And then we're gonna go ahead and see what we got. So it says here, install Ubuntu. So to install try Ubuntu, we're gonna go ahead to click on, hit enter on that, or we can do some other testing. So we're gonna hit enter. Okay, this, what this is gonna do is gonna go ahead and launch that for us. So you can see it's loading now. Let me hide my task for while we're here just to make it 
nice, easy. So we got we got our Ubuntu loading slowly. So it says here, try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. We definitely want to install Ubuntu, so we're going to hit install Ubuntu. And then I'm going to keep everything default. We're going to keep everything default again. And we're going to select the Eraser Disk, so that's fine. We're going to hit install now. It's basically telling me one last warning before I do this. If I'm not happy with it, I can change it. But I'm happy with it. Hit continue. This is where the time zone comes in. I, I live in the East Coast, so to New York is fine for me. The username for this, you already know. So the name and the username is going to be the same. Okay, so this option is very important. And Ubuntu now allows us to use Active Directory. We do have a domain controller. We could try to sign in with Active Directory. And this is something we can do in another video because I don't want to continue making this video possibly longer. But it is interesting. And we might do another video about joining Ubuntu to our Active Directory and then logging in that way. It'll be nice if we secure that way. But over here right now, we have option to log in automatically, which is not checked and require password to log in. The secure option is obviously is the require requiring my password to log in or requiring password to log in otherwise you're just risking your machine to be open to anyone else so definitely definitely want to do that and then the computer name i'm just going to name it itky ubuntu Ubuntu desktop ITKY Ubuntu dash D1 and then we're gonna hit hit continue. So this is the part where we let Ubuntu do its thing. It should be very fast. All right, the installation is completed. I'm going to reboot now. This took about roughly about 10 minutes to install from start to finish. And if you are doing this, you may have to give it about 25 minutes allocation time. And I actually have to remove that, that media. Let me remove the Ubuntu thing. So I did remove it, the ISO, now I'm going to hit enter, there you go, now it should be booting up. Now it's booting up. This is the username we created earlier, so we're gonna log in with it. And then we're gonna supply the password we pointed earlier.
We're gonna hit enter. So yep, it's loading right now. It is loaded. Ubuntu desktop 2022.04 is here. And now we can do a couple of things with Ubuntu. We can do single sign-in. We can connect to Google, Microsoft. Ubuntu is no longer alienated world, unlike, uh, just like all Linux d devices nowadays. So Microsoft is working with Linux, and this is, makes it more user-friendly. And we can do Ubuntu Pro. I don't want to do it right now. I'm just going to keep it there. Skip for now. Yeah, why not? Let it collect information to improve Ubuntu. Welcome to Ubuntu is not responding. This is not typical though. I think I need to give it more resources. It says here we got Visual Studio Code, the Zoom client, Spotify, you know, so we can use all this software, which is really nice. Android Studio, or even, even OBS, Bitwarden, awesome. So we're gonna hit done. This is it. So I'm gonna have to, you know, RDP into this obviously, but this is all the apps that's pre-installed right now. You got the video, calendar, calendar, you know, language. Not many right now, but if I click on software updater, it will update those. I can also install other software. So let me see here. Is that software updates? Yeah, so it got open open office built in right now. We got the terminal to do your command line. So yeah. This is a video about how to install Ubuntu from scratch in Nutanix environment, but it could be done with any hypervisor. So that's all we're going to do on this video. We're going to come back with another video in what we can customize next. So yeah, thanks for watching. I know this has been a, you know, like a just intro video. Hopefully you gained something out of it. So continue subscribing if you haven't already, you know, like hit the like button. It will help us so much. Thank you and have a great rest of the day. Peace.